KSBW Weather with Art Jarrett. Well, welcome back. The wacky weather still continues. We're seeing more of that flow coming right back into the area along the coast. We're going to see cooler temperatures slowing right through the area, and eventually you get to it. You saw earlier today that thunderstorms popped up in, in our neck of the woods here in Santa Cruz County, all the way down from Santa Cruz down to Aptos. That continued in all the way up to the, to the east. We're seeing a lot of that moisture continue to just circulate all the way back around, and we're going to see more of that wraparound moisture head back our way just before the night kind of ends. 73 in Boulder Creek to 70. 76 in Scotts Valley, 74 in Santa Cruz. Mild temperatures all around the map. You see down to the peninsula, we had cool to mild temperatures. Getting into the Carmel Valley area, 75. Big Sur, 74 degrees. And most of the temperatures starting up in the low to mid 50s. Get into parts of the Salinas Valley. We saw very nice conditions here. We had cumulus clouds along most of the Santa Lucia's and the Gavlin Range all the way through, but it made for a nice day and a nice afternoon. 77 in Gilroy to 75 in Hollister with 73 in San Jose. Here's a look at the thunderstorms that swept right through Santa Cruz. Yeah, they were pretty good. They brought significant rainfall, up to 18 hundredths of an inch in Santa Cruz that our weather watcher picked up, and that's uh, in the less than an, an hour's time or so. And then you get right back to it, you get all that moisture it moved right back over to parts of Gilroy and in Morgan Hill and Henry Coe Park area, and that continues to push to the east. Now, back up to the north, we're seeing rainfall that's been into the amounts of two to three inches from three o'clock in, into four o'clock, and now into five o'clock, we're still seeing that roll around and they're already picking up flash flooding going on. There's been a road already washed out up in that area. Greenfield Road is what I'm being told it's called. Lightning strikes also associated with the thunderstorm activity going on all the way from Santa Cruz bounds into the Santa Clara Valley and then back over into the eastern portion of the area into the Big Valley all along up to Cape Mendocino. We'll see that continue on tonight as well. We have 60s, 70s from the coast going into 80s in the interior for today. That's what we had for the highs. 54 in Lake Tahoe, 97 in Vegas, 99 in Palm Springs. All that warmth kind of gets transferred over into that cooler air coming in off the Pacific. Across the nation, we have high pressure all up in the middle of the nation, and it's starting to break down in parts. We're already seeing thunderstorms move into parts of Iowa and Missouri. Right in here, we have that continuing on. And then back uh, off to the east, and I actually should say off to the south and the north, we're seeing all that moisture just kind of skirt around, and it's all wrapping right back around back onto the eastern side of the nation. For us, we'll see tomorrow a lot of that will still continue to move on. The slow moisture push across the nation is really causing this low pressure trough that we have to continue to stay. There's the axis of the trough, and that's what we've been experiencing today with all that instability rolling around. As that kicks out by the weekend, we'll start to see more of this cooler air slip in, and we'll go cooler just for the next couple of days and then pick it up. You can see this whole system just kind of move out of the area, and then high pressure right behind it, which will hold off a lot of the moisture for the next eight to ten days. You see right now, we're going to have a look at uh, what's going on for the the remainder of the evening, we're going to see rainfall slipping into the area along the Monterey Peninsula and back to the Santa Cruz Mountain, sweeping across back in the Lake Tahoe area, and that's going to cause a little bit of commotion for folks tonight. Air show forecasts, mostly 70s uh, from the low to mid areas. We'll see winds around uh, 5 to, to 15, maybe even to 20 miles per hour if it continues the way it's going. In fact, we're seeing current gusts up to 23 miles per hour now in the Salinas Valley. 69 in San Francisco to 74 in Mountain View. Temperatures rolling right along will be mild, just like today. We'll just be a slightly cooler uh, as you get into the overnight hours, and we'll see some good sunshine in there eventually back in the 70s as you get back to the peninsula, right back over to Santa Cruz County, more of the same. And uh, it's going to be very mild and very comfortable for everybody, so you should get out there and enjoy it. It's be a nice day. Evening clouds will increase overnight tonight with a slight chance of showers continuing on. And then tomorrow we'll see uh, the clouds just kind of burn out of the area inland, and we'll get some good sunshine for the uh, California International Air Show. Tomorrow, the forecast, we're looking at partial clearing on the bay, so we'll see a few clouds lingering, especially along the peninsula. Inland will also have uh, some warming going on, as I told you. Still slowly beginning by the beginning of next week and then really pumping up as you get into uh, midweek. Here it is right again and looking very nice all the way through for the coast. Now, we do have a picture to look at, Aaron. You have to see this. This guy by the name of Mike Huguette came home, and after the rainfall that we had this afternoon, this is what he came home to. <laughs> Kids in Santa Cruz boogie boarding down the street. You gotta love Surf City, right? You gotta love Surf City, and it also gives an indication of how much water they got in a short amount of time, and that's what exactly. happens. You get a little bit of a flash flood, which can cause some problems, but there's, you know, always a silver lining. Always a silver lining. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Let's get to the